First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, and Kakadash. <coughs> Next, double honors to the head apostles, slash elder bishops, a great millstone who teach and who rule well. Peace, blessings, and safety to all you sincere Akim. Keep pushing, keep believing, and keep the faith regardless of what people are here for. Bear, I'm back. Uh, just I'm, I'm on a little little trip right now, but I just uh, the Lord put it on my spirit. Do a quick exhortation for the saints, you know. Uh, Yahweh Shah Mashiach, he commanded, he said, if you love me, feed my flock, feed my sheep, right? So that's that's what I'm gonna be doing today. So a little quick exhortation, man. I'm gonna bring out some scriptures, you know, you know, give you some spiritual food, feed the spirit with the words of knowledge, wisdom, understanding that come straight from the Bible, the words of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, who ignorantly called God and Jesus. So we're gonna go ahead and start. You know, we're gonna go ahead and get right into it. I'm gonna start off at uh Jeremiah chapter 3, verse 15. And it reads, and I actually, so like, you know what? I'm gonna start at verse 14. It says, Turn, O backsliding children, saith the Lord. For I am married unto you. We're the spouse of you. How about you? Shy, man. <clears throat> and I will take you, I will take you one of a city and two of a family, and I will bring you to Zion. So the Lord, that's, that's the Lord's promise. He's going to come back. He's going to redeem the elect out of our captivity, which is what we're in right now, which is America, Babylon the Great. And so this is our place of the captivity, the place where we came to be punished and where we are still being punished according to the iniquity of our forefathers. That's how Baruch 3 and 8 says we are yet this day in our captivity. But he says he's, his promise is that he's going to come and, and gather the elect of the nation of Israel, which consists of you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native American Indians, and take us, and ba take us back to our own land. Okay. And, uh, it says, and I will give you pastors according to mine heart, according to his mind, which shall feed you with knowledge and understanding. So that, once again, man, that's that's what the Lord has called me to do today. Uh, you know, try to do daily uploads, daily videos for, for, for the saints, man. But, um, you know, this was on my spirit to stop what I'm doing and make this quick video. Quick exhortation, man. So the Lord has given us pastors according to his heart, his mind. <clears throat> and it says, which shall feed you with knowledge and understanding. Okay, so that's, that's what they're going to be doing. Next scripture I'm going to bring out is uh, Isaiah chapter 30, verse 20. All right, here we are. Isaiah chapter 30, verse 20, it says, and this, this, this uh, I, so lucky, I didn't even tell you what I'm going to be speaking on. I'm going to be speaking on just keep pushing, keep believing, and keep the faith. Um, you know, we're, we're about to enter into a time of trouble. Jacob's trouble's coming. Um, you know, the famines, the wars. All that stuff is coming. The beginning of sorrows. The beginning of sorrows is Yahweh Shai Mashiach said. All that, all that's coming. So um, this is just kind of a quick exhortation, man, telling y'all to keep keep persevering and what and what we got going on. You know, um, a lot of times, and if you're new to the channel, man, you, you you haven't watched my other videos, but I speak on this a lot. I did uh, at camp last Saturday. I did a whole sermon on this. Um, you know, we, you got these pastors telling everybody that it's pre preaching prosperity gospel, preaching peace, and that's not what the Lord said. The Lord, he, he ain't coming to bring peace. He's coming to bring a sword, man. And, um, you know, so like, yeah, that's, what the whole, that's what the whole ministry is about, the ministry of reconciliation, so that we can be reconciled to the Heavenly Father, so that when, when, when his son comes back to destroy this place, we're not caught up in that, okay? We want to be found at peace with Yahweh Shah and Mashiach, but... Part of that, part of that is we got to be tested, we got to be tried, we got to go through the furnace of adversity, and we're gonna suffer when we're when we're here in this world. You see. So, once again, I'm gonna read out Isaiah 30 and 20, and it's, it reads, uh, it says, <clears throat> okay, Isaiah 30. I'm gonna start at 19. For the people shall dwell in Zion at Jerusalem. Okay, and the people before us a place. Second Chronicles 6 and 6. Thou shalt weep no more. And he will be very gracious unto thee at the voice of thy cry when he shall hear it and he will answer thee. So that's what we're doing. We're crying unto the Lord. We're saying, you know, Lord, our enemies are persecuting us. We're in this captivity. Inflation's rising. You see all the wickedness that's going forth, especially the, the, the righteous elect, man. You got mockers, you got scoffers. We got people that hate us for no reason. You know, and we're, we're persecuted and we haven't even suffered the, the, the real persecution just yet. But, you know, we suffer minor affliction at the hands of the wicked. You know, and that, that includes uh, Esau, Edom and also the two thirds. You know, so it says he's going to hear our cries, man. Verse uh, verse 20, it says, and he will, uh, 19, he will answer thee. Verse 20, and though the Lord give you the bread of adversity. So that's what's coming, man. When you join this truth, 
okay you're woken up to who you are uh it says in uh, isaiah 59 and, and um 59 and 15 it says that it's either 59 and 15 or 59 and 19 it says he that departs from evil make himself a prey so you know you're gonna face adversity because the people of the world are gonna hate you the same way that they hated yahweh shah and mashiach they're gonna hate you you know what i'm saying but uh the, the lord overcame all that and and that's what we're that's what we're gonna do you know lord willing we're of that number the elect to overcome the world and not not be polluted by the wickedness but it says verse 20 and though the lord give you the bread of adversity and the water of affliction <clears throat> ye shall yet yet shall not thy teachers be removed into a corner anymore so the lord has brought he has awoken the elect back up lord willing we're part of that number and uh you know he's he's got us out here speaking according to his mind his heart what he wants to feed the children of israel you see and it says, but thine eyes shall see thy teachers. So you're looking at the teachers right here, man. Uh, that's, that's what we're out here doing. We're out here preaching on the streets, week in, week out. Uh, um, uh, being instant in season, out of season. Reproving, rebuking, exhorting with all long suffering and doctrine. Right? That's what we're doing, man. We're, we're out here teaching you guys, feeding you with the knowledge, wisdom, understanding that, uh, that the Lord wants you to have. Okay? So that's part of the mercies, man. He's giving, he's, he's, brought, back, he's brought back the teachers, the true biblical hebrew israelites to preach the word the way that he wants it taught not the way that, that esau edom is teaching it in these false these false churches you see let's get uh isaiah 48 and, and 10 and once again we're just going we're going to get some scriptures showing you that you know exhorting the mind prepare your mind for affliction uh so rock two and one it says uh my son if thou come to serve the lord prepare thy soul for temptation so you already know it's part of the game man but let's get this isaiah 48 and 10 it says, uh, let's see. Oh, Salakia. I haven't got there yet. I got the wrong, wrong one pulled up. Bear with me. <clears throat> Almost got it. Salakia. Sometimes I get I get caught up in these uh <laughs> get caught up with these Roman numerals. I'm I'm reading from the this is old sixteen eleven right here. Beautiful. I recommend everybody get a copy of this. With the Apocrypha, of course. King James Version. So this is uh, the book of Prophet Isaiah, chapter 48, verse 10. It says, Behold, I have refined thee, but not with silver. I have chosen thee in the furnace of affliction. Okay? So that's, that's the Lord has chosen us to, uh, to be, you know, to be purified in the furnace of affliction. You see? And that's all, that's all part of the game, man. Um, and I brought this out earlier. I'm going to bring out that Sirach. We'll go, we'll go to that Sirach chapter 2 it, it goes into this a little bit But once again man Just you gotta prepare your mind for adversity Prepare your mind for affliction uh, Micah uh, 2 and 10 it tells you Arise you and depart for this is not your rest We shouldn't be trying to uh, Be trying to get comfortable in this system man this is, this is not our rest, this is not our kingdom You know, Our kingdom is coming when, when the Lord uh, When the Lord returns uh, what's, what's another scripture? Something that's came to my mind Bear with me Rise, you depart. Oh, my sermon. I did a sermon. Trust not in uh, trust not in Babylon. Trust in the Holy One of Israel. Isaiah chapter thirty-one speaks on that, man. We can't we can't trust in our four hundred one k, our career, because you know it's uh, this, this this devil Esau Edom is gonna is gonna come in like a madman soon, and he's gonna um you know he's gonna have it to where he's just trying to chip everybody. You know he's gonna want everybody to take that that's you know I said the word but <laughs> I shouldn't have, you know that sea hip. You know what I'm saying? That Capri Sun, man. That, that jungle juice. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> that 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 uh karagma you know what that is read revelation 13 and 16 you know so when that happens he wants you to everybody to take that 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 mark you know the mot to the bbb you, you know you ain't gonna be able to participate in the society you're gonna lose everything you have that's just a, that's just the truth so you gotta be prepared for that man prepare yourself for that adversity so rock two and one my son if thou come to serve the lord prepare thy soul for temptation set thy heart let's let's just read though let's just read on down man it's like this is a good read right here Set thy heart aright and constantly endure and make not haste in time of trouble. Once again, man, we got to trust in the Lord. Yahweh Shai, he says he's going to never leave nor forsake us, man. It says, uh, it says, cleave unto him and depart not away. That thou may, mayest be increased at thy last end. He's going to increase us at the last end, man. He's going to come through for us. Whatsoever is brought upon thee, take cheerfully and be patient when thou art changed to a low estate. For, is, for gold is tried in the fire and acceptable men in the furnace of adversity. You see that? So this is this is a beautiful thing, man. Um, if, if, if the Lord has given you, if the Lord has put you under the fire, so to speak, he's put you in the furnace of adversity, 
that means that he he considers you an acceptable man or woman so this is a good thing you know um and so you gotta prepare your mind for that man it's not an easy walk it's not an easy path you know your friends your family gonna turn on you when you come to the truth and that's okay you know that's okay that's, uh, that's, that's how it's supposed to be you gotta get persecuted people are gonna hate you people are gonna rise up against you it's all part of the game man you know uh let's see I'm gonna, I just want to actually, I'm going to give one more scripture in this in this chapter. This is uh, Sirach chapter 2, going down to verse 10. It says, look at the generations of old and see, did ever any trust in the Lord and was confounded? Or did any abide in his fear and was forsaken? No. Or whom did he ever despise that called upon him? And once again, man, who did he ever despise that called upon him? And you got to call upon the proper names in the Paleo Hebrew tongue, man. Yahweh, that's the heavenly father and his only begotten son. Yahweh Shai. This is the Paleo Hebrew tongue. Okay? And it said in uh, Zephaniah 3 and 8 that before he gathers the nations into World War III to destroy them, he's going to, part of the sealing, he's going to seal his elect. And part of that sealing is the returning of the new language. I'm mean, not the new language, the pure language, Salaki, which is uh, a Canaanitic Paleo Hebrew. Okay? So Yahweh, the Heavenly Father and the Holy Begotten Son, Yahweh Shai. Um, let's see. Next scripture I'm going to get. I'm going to go to, uh, in the Apocrypha, the book of 2 Maccabees. Let's see. I'm going to go to 2 Maccabees. We're going to go to chapter 6. Okay. And this is speaking about a lot of the atrocities our people went through, you know, during the time of the Greek captivity, the third beast. But it's, uh, but our people, they persevered, man. We're strong people. We're not, we're not no quitters, man. Okay. So once again, 2 Maccabees chapter 6, verse 12. Now I beseech those that read this book that they be not discouraged for these calamities, but if they judge those punishments not to be for destruction, but for a chastening of our nation. You see? For it is a token of his great goodness when wicked doers are not suffered any long time but forthwith punished. Okay? So it's a, it's, it's a good thing, man. We, we got punished. We went off. We got punished for our iniquities. The Lord, he disciplines us when we go off. Right? This is a good thing. It's, it's actually a token of his mercy. Okay? Verse 14. For not as with other nations whom the Lord patiently forbear to punish. You see, other nations have done all kind of wickedness, man, and, and the Lord has not came up against them. You see, he's not, he's not judged them because their judgment is all going to come at one time. But he doesn't do that with us. You know, he judges us little by little, piece by piece. And that's, that's a token of his mercy, man, because he's purifying us. He's, put, he's sending that adversity, sending those evils against us so that we turn back, repent. And, and hope in his mercy, man, because Psalms 147 and 11, it says, the fear of the Lord is his treasure, and uh, the fear of the Lord is his treasure, and and uh, and, th and those who hope in his mercy, so Lockie, I can't quote it off the top of my head exactly, but something to that effect, man, he, uh, you know, he, he, uh, he wants us to fear him and hope in his mercy, okay? That's Psalms 147 and 11, you can go read that, put it down in the comments. Oh, uh, let's see. So anyways, I was at, uh, Second Maccabees chapter six, it says, <clears throat> it says, for not as with other nations whom the Lord patiently forbear to punish. So he waits to punish them till they become to the fullness of their sins. So does he with us. So he, he's waiting till they come to the fullness of their sins and he's going to throw the book at them all at one time. We don't, you know, we don't get that same treatment because we, we've been adopted back into the, the, um, the, the um, family of the heavenly father. Lord willing, that's us. It says, <clears throat> I see. Okay, that's it. That's it out of that one. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna get what I'm gonna get next. Uh, I'm gonna go to Hebrews. Let's go to let's go to the book of Hebrews, chapter twelve. Okay, and I'm gonna get a few more scriptures. And I'm gonna close out. But uh, you know, this is once again, man, just a quick exhortation. You know, feeding the flock, feeding the saints with the wisdom, wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Let's go to Hebrews, chapter twelve. Let's get that right quick. Hmm. Hebrews, chapter twelve. Hebrews chapter 12, Salakia. Let's take a minute second. So I'm pulling up in, in, the, in the actual book. Hebrews, got it. Hebrews chapter 12, let's see. It says, uh, verse 5. And ye have forgotten the exhortation which speaketh unto you as unto children. My son, despise not the chastening of the Lord, nor faint without rebuke of him. Don't, don't despise the chastening, man. Uh, prepare your mind for it. Accept it. It's coming. Okay. For whom the Lord loveth, he chasteneth and scourgeth every son whom he receiveth. So he's going to discipline you. He says, for whom he loves, he disciplines and scourges every son whom he receives. If ye endure chastening, the Most High deals with you as with sons. 
For what son is he whom the father chasteneth not? So that's the mark of being a true son, a daughter of the heavenly father. He, he disciplines you when you go off. But if you be without chastisement, whereof all are partakers, then are ye not, then are ye bastards and not sons. Okay? So there you go. That tells you right there. <clears throat> that tells you right there, man. He's gonna send, he's gonna discipline us. And how does he do that? Through adversity when we go off. Okay. So that the Lord, so the men of the Lord may be perfect. I'm gonna get that next. Uh, but actually, no, I'm gonna get this first. Second Timothy chapter 3, verse 12. Yea. And all that will live godly in Hamashiach and Hawashai shall suffer persecutions. 2 Timothy 3 and 12. I'm going to read that one more time. Yea, and all that will live godly in Hamashiach and Hawashai shall suffer persecution. Expect it. Okay? Expect it. You can't take it. It's, it's part of the game, man. It's all a part of the game. And let me see. Uh, one last scripture. One last scripture. I'm going to wrap it up. Um, I'm just going to look this one up on my phone. Okay. I'm going to close it out after this. Bear with me. This is... Uh, <clears throat> so all this adversity, this is the whole purpose of it right here. 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 17. That the man of God may be perfect, thoroughly furnished unto all good works. So that's what the Lord is, he wants from us, man. He's trying to perfect us, okay? That's the whole point of the discipline. Um, you know, Lord willing, this is edifying. With that being said, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakadash. Next double honors to the head apostles slash elder bishops, a great millstone who teach and who rule well. Peace, blessings, and safety to all you sincere Achaeans. Keep pushing, keep believing, and keep the faith, regardless of what people hear or forbear. Shalom.